Yes, yeah, hi, man. You had a comment you want to make? Yeah, uh, something that has uh, come to mind, and I've al already heard uh, some radio commentators also mention it, that uh, what is happening across the nation with all these tea parties is actually very beneficial for the conservative cause. And more and more people are getting involved and uh, reading the Constitution. I, for one, I've never been politically involved, and now it's, it's occasionally just to be uh, aware of what's going on with the other stations, I may turn something on, but it's, it's very hard to watch it because it's all pablum. Right. You know, it's all watered down news. Right. And uh, now, uh, what happened the other day with uh, Obama getting the Nobel Prize, I think he's in pretty good company uh, <laughs> considering that he, uh, you know, he joined uh, people such as uh, Carter, President right. Carter. And he Al got Gore. <laughs> Al Gore. <laughs> And uh, then, of course, uh, 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 what is his name? Um, Ar oh, oh, Arafat. Yes, Arafat. Arafat. Yeah. Right, now, right, Arafat. Right. I think if uh, <laughs> if Arafat can get it, right? <laughs> if he could get it, then anybody could. Who's so, next? Fidel Castro? And we we know that uh, uh, the group of people who picked him, they're leftists. Uh -huh. So I don't pay too much attention to it. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this is going to sway his actions. Oh, that's interesting, and right? If it's a political uh, decision on the uh, Nobel Prize committees, if that was their reason, was yeah. political, then maybe they're trying to uh, you know, influence his uh, future decisions, maybe. Absolutely. And uh, it's just funny to, to uh, observe Obama. He can't seem to make any decision. My life right now has been put on hold. I'm not doing any work. I really? had a business. I put wow. everything on hold. What, to come out and this. protest? A absolutely. Wow. Every single day That's I'm really doing determined. something to make my friends and my uh, country um, aware of what's going on. Right. And uh, I'm being ostracized by some of my friends and even some of my family wow. for what I'm doing. But so be it. I have no other choice. I'm That's doing this for my credentials. Very courageous of you and uh, very commendable, too. So you're going to keep this up through the 2010 election then? All the way. All, all the way. way. As long as it takes. Wow. Very good. Thank you very much, man, for your uh, heartfelt determination. You're welcome. Thank you. Any comments you want to make about Barack Obama's uh, Nobel Peace Prize uh, award? Well, that is the biggest farce of the century. Right. Uh, basically, the man has accomplished nothing, and I really feel at this point that he probably won't accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. As far as bringing home the troops, I think Obama would be afraid to bring them home because if, if it comes to a showdown, the troops are going to be on the side of the American people, not a Marxist uh, dictator. So right. he knows that uh, he'd be in a lot of trouble if, if we had the troops in this country. Right. Do you think the uh, uh, Nobel Prize Committee was trying to politically influence Barack Obama by giving oh, him the sure. award? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it, it's like giving the humanitarian award to Osama bin Laden. I mean, uh, you know. It's How about just... the environmental award for him for uh, living in a cave? That's very <laughs> right. environmentally That's right. friendly. That's right. Cave living, yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah. uh, Obama would have us all in caves. Uh, so would Al Gore. That's the Muslim <laughs> way, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, thanks for your comments. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. And what do you think about uh, Barack Obama winning the Nobel Peace Prize? Oh, that's ridiculous. The most ridiculous thing I oh. ever heard. That's the most that, ridiculous thing? Oh. Even more ridiculous than Al Gore and Jimmy Carter getting it? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. It's just and absolutely. why do you feel it's so ridiculous? First of all, it was awarded to him in what, eight months? Right. How does he prove, what did he do that earned him that honor? And it's supposed to be an honor. That's what a lot of people are asking, right? That's and right. And you think if he had a, a true character, he would have... Uh, uh, he would have uh, refused it. Yeah, he would have refused the award, right? He had no rights to it. Right. Because he said, you know, I don't feel I really deserve it, yet he takes it. So, you know, again, he's well, speaking out of both yeah. sides of his mouth, right? He'll, he'll take whatever they hand him. Yeah, whatever him anyway, they hand to him, you know, right. And he expects us to follow suit. We're right. not going to. It is amazing. Learn but he knows, he knows that he was not worthy. That's why he's being magnanimous and is 
giving the money to the poor. Uh huh. Well, to charity. At least he's doing that. Yeah. So even his own staff thought it was a joke. They thought it was an April Fool's joke when they first heard it. You know, that's amazing. His own staff, they really did. They made comment. They thought it was an April Fool's joke. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's how ridiculous. That's how ridiculous everybody thought it was. Yeah, but now they're acting like, oh, yeah, he deserves it and all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah amazing. That's well, well, that just proves, that just proves that his staff doesn't know, pardon me, their ass from a hole in the wall. Right. Right. Well, um, so you think, uh, what do you think about this health care bill? Um, you think it's going to, the Senate's going to pass it? I think that they are going to pass it. Right. With Olympia Snow's help and uh, Blanche Lincoln and... With, with all of the wrong people. Right. As a matter of fact, there was a comment on the radio about the fact that the people we the people are not going to have an opportunity to read or know what is in the bill before it is voted on. Can they put uh, forth an amendment for a 72 hour period to allow the, the, um, the congressmen to read the bill before they vote on it? Supposedly. Supposedly, right. Yeah. Right. But what about us? Right. The congressmen well, are our representatives. Right. If they are our re representatives, then we should know what that individual is going to vote for. Right. There have certainly been enough people at these town hall meetings that have indicated their displeasure with this whole thing. Right, yeah. And it's been a growing movement, too. Is there enough time for all of the people to make their thoughts truly come to the forefront. Well, 2010 is over a year away, the November election 2010. Hopefully this movement will grow and more and more people will come to the fore and finally uh, vote the bums out. But the question is how much damage is Congress going to do in the meantime? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. No question about it. Right. And what do you think about Obama waffling on the decision about troops sending troops to Afghanistan? Well, I happen to be a veteran of 22 years. And what is going I'll get that for you, sir. What, what is going to happen is that in about five or ten years, we're going to be back in there. And instead of being back there with 200,000 troops, we're going to have to go back there with a million troops to quell this, this, uh, Right, the Al Qaeda this, stronghold. We've Taliban. seen it, we've seen it happen. Unfortunately, the first Bush had, what, a hundred days of, uh, of war and then declared us a winner. And then we've gone in the second time and proved that either you do the whole job right. or Come back later. don't do it at all. Right. All right, and that's exactly what's happening here. Right. So you it's think you should be listening to the generals on the ground like McChrystal? Absolutely. No right. ifs, ends, or buts about it. That's who should get the peace prize. What's that, ma'am? The generals should have oh, gotten it. Oh, the generals should have gotten it. He right. should have gotten yeah. the peace prize, not right. Obama. He has, well, he has any has number of people would have been more uh, deserving, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Absolutely. People, people that are on the ground, the front lines. So really, all the um, uh, Nobel Prize Committee accomplished was to make the Nobel Peace Prize uh, uh, a worthless, a worthless piece yeah. of paper. A, wor a worthless uh, no, award. A worthless right. award. Yeah. It has no value. It, well, it was practically worthless when Gore and Carter got it, but now they really nailed the coffin on that, huh? They really did. Yeah. Well, thanks for your comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.